Hello ladies and gentlemen, once again this is Jeremy Smith, Photog J the Great. Today we're going to be talking about something that I think confuses a lot of photographers. We all get to the point to where we understand ISO and shutter speed and aperture and we start to develop massive lens lust. But one thing that you need to keep in mind whenever you start looking at lenses is how their focal length is going to affect perspective. Perspective is something that a lot of people get confused on. Uh, basically, different lenses have different angles of view, and that is going to affect how much you're going to see in your photographs uh, as far as your subject and your background. A wider angle lens creates the effect of having more things in, in the background, and a more telephoto lens creates the effect of having less in the background. To make all this clearer, let's go ahead and take a look at some different focal lengths, and this will all make sense. First, we're going to take a look at the 14 millimeter focal length. We're using a Nikon 14 to 24 shot on a full frame D600 body. The first thing you guys are going to notice is that at 14 millimeters, Jason is going to have to get really, really close to me, and uh, that's going to get me about this size in the frame. But a wider angle lens shot up closer to the subject is always going to have a wider angle of view. And so, even though I'm going to be a relatively, uh, relatively the same uh, height in all these shots, we are going to have a lot more stuff in the background whenever we're shooting at 14 millimeters with the camera close to me. I don't much like being in front of the camera, but uh, with us not using a pretty model, you guys may not get as distracted, but noticing, no, as you take a look at this photograph, notice that there is a much, much wider amount of space here so we've got lots of things in the background and this is going to be the main reason why we don't typically use an ultra wide angle lens for portraits 24 okay so now we're going to move on to 24 millimeters and 24 millimeters on a full frame body is still going to be very very wide and so yeah there's still going to be a lot of things in the background there's also the effect of a lot of distortion whenever you are using a wider angle lens closer to a subject. So if you're shooting a really, really pretty model, you don't want to distort her facial features whenever you're shooting at 24 millimeters. You know, it's going to make the face much, much wider and things like that. Um, if you are doing more of an environmental type portrait where you deliberately want to be able to get a lot more of the background in the shot, um, there is a time where you may want to do that. I'm going to put a link to some, uh, some sample photos that I have shot at different focal lengths and that will give you an, a good idea of how all this comes into play. 35. Okay, so now we are shooting at 35 millimeters with a Nikon 24 to 70. And now 35 millimeters is kind of a nice happy medium in terms of focal length. The good thing about 35 is we still get quite a bit of stuff in the background. But the nice thing about 35 millimeters is the fact that it's, it's a wide angle lens without having to cause so much distortion that we you know, start to stretch out features a lot. But keep in mind, even at 35 millimeters, if you're taking a portrait, you don't typically want to use that very, very close to your subject. 50. Okay, so now at 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters is considered to be a uh, what a lot of people will call a normal lens, uh, meaning that, you know, if you close one eye and look at a scene, that's about what 50 millimeters is like. Basically with the 50, it's uh, not really a telephoto, it's not really a wide angle, it's just, well, it's just a normal lens. Now we're going to do something a little bit more telephoto. 70. At 70 millimeters, we're now finally starting to get more into an acceptable portrait range. Uh, typically for portraits, you know, typically for portraits, I use something like a 70 to 200. Uh, the 70 to 200 is a very, very nice lens because that's when we finally have the ability to start shooting in a way to where we can get very little of our subject in the back, or very little of our background behind our subject. So it's going to start to place a lot more emphasis on the, uh, on the subject. You're not having to get as physically close to the subject, which is going to make lighting much easier. And it's also going to make your subject feel a lot more relaxed and comfortable when you're not like all in their, you know, personal space. So anyway, so let's go ahead and get a shot at 70 and see what that's like. 
Oh, okay. 85. 85 millimeters then. Notice that as we keep increasing in focal weight, we are now starting to, uh, now you, you guys don't even see Jason anymore because he's now on the opposite side of the video camera. Okay, so now we're at 105 millimeters. And now Jason's probably about, uh, probably about 10 or 12 feet away from me at this point. So now we're getting the effect of having very, very little stuff in the background. 135. And now at 135, that effect is going to increase. Something else that happens whenever we start talking about shooting at longer focal lengths, we start talking about compression. Um, if, we ever get start, if you ever hear anyone talk about compression, that simply means that the, there's going to be much less background behind your subject at, the, at a longer focal length. And it also means that you now have the illusion where things are going, are going to start looking much closer together. So in other words, that background that's way off in the distance behind me is now going to start looking like it's much closer to me. So hence the term compression. And there's our final shot there at 200 millimeters. I say final shot, but actually it looks like we're going to try 300. <laughs> we, brought, uh, we brought pretty much every Nikon lens we could today, so yeah, we might as well give 300 a go also. So yeah, at 300 this effect is going to keep on increasing. If we continue to use even longer lenses, you guys would continue to see this effect even more. So yeah, the, basically, the longer the focal length lens that you use, and the further you back up whenever you're using it, you're going to create the effect of having less in the background. It's also interesting to note that a longer focal length lens shot at the same aperture is also going to have shallower depth of field. So if we shot with a 14 millimeter lens at 2.8, it would still produce the effect of having quite a lot of things in focus if we were comparing to say a 200 millimeter lens shot at 2.8. In closing, remember it's very, very important to pick an appropriate focal length whenever you're shooting because it can mean the difference between getting this look or this look right here. Remember, whenever you're shooting, be sure to select an appropriate lens. You can either use an ultra-wide and get lots of stuff in the background, or you can use a telephoto lens and get less stuff in the background. As you learn to shoot, don't get hung up on f-stop and shutter speed and ISO. Always remember, your lens's focal length can make or break your photograph. Until next time, this is Jeremy Smith, Go Talk J the Great, signing off.